So this video is going to be on positive and negative polarization based on the law of one and my personal experience. Um, positive and negative polarization being the way that the soul or consciousness goes about ex expanding or basically evolving. And these are just different ways of going about looking at life in order to be able to evolve into a new state of being. Um, positive wise, uh, the way that they do it is through what they call service to others and negative they call service to self. So the difference is that service to others is 51% or more of the things that you do are in service of other people. Meaning like 51% of the things that you think about do and just are involved with are in service or in with other people in mind basically like you're doing it for other people more than you're doing things for yourself uh, service to self means that 95 percent or more of the things that you do are in service of yourself meaning everything basically almost everything that you do is selfish and it's things that you do in order to be able to build your ego and to basically refine your ego and uh service to others is about dismantling the ego and uh seeing the similarities between the people uh <laughs> the uh the service to self is about exploiting the differences between people so it's two completely different ways of looking at the same thing um service to service to others We'll go into service to others first, and then I'm gonna do a bunch of videos on service to self and service to others. But I think that the service to self for me is very interesting, even though I'm not a particularly, like, I'm not service to self, but it's very, very interesting to me to kind of like look at that and learn from it because it just, it seems as though sometime in my past or something like, I don't know, there, there may have been a time where I, um, I don't know chose negativity in a way and learned a lot but at the same time now i've chosen a completely separate path from what i was on i guess and um going from a service to self to service to others person is uh it's an interesting journey and i'm sure a lot of people are kind of going through this change right now too where it almost feels as though you're a different person completely meaning like it feels as though kind of my it, it feels like my soul from many lifetimes ago just kind of like started to settle in to this body and before I don't even it, I, it wouldn't be anything that I would consider as me it'd be something that was like kind of just like a I don't know like I, I feel like I have the memories of this of this particular body's lifetime but it doesn't feel as though the person who did most of the things in a lifetime I mean whenever I was a kid it was different like when I was a kid, I, could, I feel the same energy now as I did was when, when I was a kid. But throughout later on in my life, whenever I didn't really know how to, to handle things and things like that, it got to a point where it wasn't really me anymore. And I had to find myself again. But anyways, so talking about service to others and service to self. Service to others is basically just when you when you serve others more than you serve yourself but there's a, there's a kind of like a thing to it right it's about the way that you look at other people and look at yourself so it's not just that you're, you're trying to serve other people for the reasons of getting stuff for yourself because a lot of people the reason why they serve other people is because they know that they're going to get something for themselves out of it which in in the, the midst of it is not really service to others it's service to yourself because you're not trying to give anything you're trying to get something and um the whole deal about service to others is that when you serve another person you are serving yourself so there's no paradox there between service to self and service to others it's just realizing the nature of love and unity and choosing to serve that rather than choosing to serve the ego which is service to self and um the ego can be very very crafty and uh service to self people can be very manipulative and they can be very uh just in general really really uh wise people but we're missing a nature of love that kind of gives life its meaning or purpose in a way i mean they give life its own meaning of their own meaning if that makes any sense so like they they, they believe that in service to self you believe that you would make up your own meaning for life and that you yourself 
are the only driving factors that you can like really trust and believe in to get anything done. I believe that everybody else is under them and that everybody else is not on the same level of, um, of advancement as they are. And the way that their whole society structure works is that the, their pecking order or like in their social memory complexes, which some social memory complexes are the culmination of a bunch of different souls from uh, a singular kind of society. And it's the society that decided to take their consciousness and merge it all together into one large kind of like, if you think about like the Borg, but without physical bodies or maybe with physical bodies, but like basically it's like they, they, they choose to merge their consciousness together into one big consciousness so they can work uh, more efficiently in polarization. And basically when that happens is when everybody on a planet or a specific group of people or souls on a planet all choose the same orientation and they decide to share their memories and they decide to share their um, experiences basically um, to a level that's, uh, they basically become each other. So everybody becomes the other person. Service to self, the way that it works is that um, people don't see the others as being themselves and they, they like to hide their thoughts and they like to um, do as much manipulation as possible. So basically they are doing whatever they possibly can to try to get the other person to bend to their will. So their whole deal is learning how to manipulate and control society and themselves and life in a way that will bring them the most pleasure uh, that they can possibly experience. And uh, they get their pleasure from forcing things to go the way that they want them to go. Um, that's one way. And then another thing is that their pecking order is always disintegrating, meaning they're always kind of like redoing their, um, who's the leader of their group because there's always a fight for the leadership position. In service to others, there is no leader leadership position because everybody literally shares the exact same consciousness. So at that point, there is no better or worse because everybody has joined together to be one. Um, See, like they kind of both have their own powers in their own ways, but the service to other uh, has a binding unity that brings them a sense of a sense of oneness with themselves and the cosmos, and the service to self kind of separates themselves from everything around themselves, and they choose to to realize or think that um, that life is something that is made of suffering and that suffering is meant to push us into new heights and new uh, kind of revelations about everything and that you can basically learn more from suffering than you can from love. And they believe that there is nothing to learn from love because there's nothing to gain from love. Service to others would believe that everything is to be gained from love because the only way to actually really kind of understand yourself is to love yourself. And the only way to love yourself is to love everything around you because you are one with everything around you. Uh, the service to self doesn't really see that in the same way. Um, another thing about service to others is that the whole nature of their service is to serve the creator through serving others. And by serving other people, they are serving themselves through the understanding that the others, like as they help another person or another society, the through that, they're actually causing themselves to grow as well. Because as the society that they helped kind of move along, they actually gain the same, inf like not information, but like they gain the same kind of love energy or polarization as the society that they helped. And service to others, I mean, service to self, the way that they polarize is through enslaving. So they basically try to enslave entire societies or groups of people. And the way that they enslave them is not through brute force, it's through convincing them that the, the, the things and wisdom that they have to offer is worth giving up your free will for. 
So they try to show people that they can give them all of the pleasures and all of the knowledge that they've ever wanted. And in exchange, they just give them your, your energy or they, you give them the, your energy. And then they basically give you only that like they basically read your ego and they see what level of advancement that you're at. And then they give you only the information that would make you feel happy as an ego. So basically they, they make you feel as though you're learning things that are pertinent to you, but they're actually pertinent to your ego and they're not pertinent to your spiritual advancement. So the whole time you're learning things that help you to become a stronger ego, but you're never, you're never learning the true lessons of unity and love. And through that, they're actually able to control you because they can basically convince you to do things that you normally wouldn't do by telling you, basically what they do is they give you a whole lot of information that it seems very profound to you, but it plants seeds of negativity in your mind. So when the sp seeds sprout, then they kind of like, they sprout into this, this entity that is of fear and lack and worry. And the information they give you is meant to put you in a state of fear, lack and worry. So the more that you kind of like take on their information, yes, you become very wise, but you also become very distant and you start to not trust anything and you start to kind of not be able to see the, uh, the joys and love of life anymore. And that's the trap that they have. Uh, there's other things that they call the inorganic beings, which work through a realm that's very similar to dreaming. And they enslave people as well. They're a service to self society in a way where they, uh, they basically give the dreamers a realm of existence that they would love and they convince them and they teach them things right but they convince them that they should live there and as they live there they'd they siphon or drain the energy based on the level of the person so the the more wise that you are as a soul and the more wise you are as an ego the more kind of wisdom oriented information that they'll give you but they'll never give you inform any information that will allow you to become more powerful than they are and they will never allow you to kind of like reach the highest echelon unless you take that for yourself um <clears throat> there's another thing like service to others you you're never trying to, to comp like there's never a competition for anything because everything's always done in the service of the other people so everything that you do is in with the other's best interest in mind and that's very important because um with service to others the only way for them to polarize or to continue their evolution is by giving without any kind of uh expectation of return and uh to do that they have to make sure that they never violate free will because that's one way that uh service to, uh, to self polarizes is by violating free will and then two, or technically they're not supposed to violate free will, but they do whatever they possibly can to manipulate the free will of the other person, which is basically violating their free will. And this is like, they're trying to do whatever they possibly can to get as close to violating your free will without violating it actually. So that is kind of like how they do their thing. And this goes way deeper, obviously. This is just like a basic, really quick overview. And it's like, you know, tap into to more than just my words, try to tap into the kind of like energy behind them because uh, I've had a lot of realizations about this kind of stuff and I am almost probably going to need to go through at least five to ten videos of just kind of talking like this in order to be even to get the the basics down uh, so that you guys can understand exactly how deep this stuff goes in wisdom and how it can really bring out a lot of things in you that you didn't know were there. Um, it's really important to also know about this stuff so that you can start to choose a path for yourself and so you can kind of like stop being in the wheel of samsara or you can basically reduce your karmic imprint enough to where you can move on from the 3d move into the the three four five d kind of areas and so that we can start to see a society society that if we choose service to others then we can very quickly kind of work together in order to be able to move past a lot of these kind of things that we've been having as a society. And all this stuff is happening because of the kind of polarity or difference between the people on the planet. Because there's so many people who are 
who are service to self and service to others and like they're kind of just all clashing at the moment and uh we just need to start working together in order to be able to get a gen genuine kind of complex of society going and uh once we start to see as a society and as a human race that as, as a people that the 99 percent of people who are service to others or want to be service to others and if they band together then they can very easily beat beat out the negative or the service to self one percent of society and um literally all we have to do is just understand our power individually and then start to combine that power because as you combine energy it not only multiplies the energy but it exponentially multiplies the energy so like it's not even it's by squares so like every for every other person it goes up by an exponential amount so um if it's like a whole society of people who are working together then their power goes up by such a large amount that it would be very easy for them to kind of like overrule any kind of negative entities that are uh still uh still have control over society basically but this was just really quick going into the service to self and service to others and i'm going to do a bunch more on this because uh it's a very very interesting topic to me and it's something that i'm I've been into it for a little bit, so I feel like I have, I feel like I have plenty of information on this. All right. Hope you have a wonderful day, and see you later.